The kid in the white shirt's the last kid I ever met. All right, so here we go. So is this is this grand finals? Yeah, they did the same thing again, same ports. Okay, cool. So this time, oh yeah, so that's one So let's see. So using the platforms, okay. So there, just catch them. So he's trying to crouch it here, right, so he can get a shine. But so right there, he's super close. So means he spaces it just outside that zone. So this is good by both. This is a good attempt by PP and better spacing by Meech King. You know what Mark Jackson says? Good D, but I'll take better O any day. That's what he means. Better offense. Good defense, better offense. But he gets a nice down tilt off it. So Meech King had to, let's see, if we think about this on a micro situation, Meech King had to fair and then probably stop. Because he jabs and then he gets punished for jabbing. So he had to do that there and then maybe shield. Or he had to jump out back onto the platform. Um, but he couldn't do the jab because, as you can see, PP was already crouching, so there was no reason to do that jab. So the jab was bad, but the fair was great. Mm. No reason for me. Yeah. This is little stuff, and I talk about it all the time. I do it too. But this is little things that you can cut out of your game. Lean, lean melee, as Scar called it. Like right here. You don't need a shine right here. Look how far he is. So you don't need to waste any frames with a shine here. Because it would be easier. You might be able to cover an option if you don't waste it with a shine. You might even be able to get to the ledge. He didn't know. He, so, like, these next two options weren't necessary. He could have just, like, nared and then tried to get to the ledge. Or, um, yeah. But these next two options weren't necessary. See how he, like, he tried to do that tilt? He actually probably could have got to the ledge if he had just nared. And then he, like, turned around, got to the ledge, or tried to down hair him or something. But he kind of just wasted his next two moves. Mm hmm. Dash stack, yep. Yeah. Up air. Bread and butter combos. Shine. Oh, wonder if he could have got the shine up earlier. Probably could have got the shine up earlier. Down air. He spot dodges and then shines. Falco shit. Oh, nice DI by Meech King. This is really good down air DI. Next level. Very good down air DI. Super good. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Nice dash attack. This is all good stuff. You gotta give a cover the cloud, obviously, yeah. He had to go to the cloud, but there's no reason for him not to. Not to try. Mm-hmm. Could have shined his shield on it. Bam. Mm -hmm. Grab. Yeah, he's doing a good job of grabbing on the jabs. Nice, de nice tech away. Good. T oh, that's not safe. He's doing a good job of punishing the jabs after. So he's taking the fair. And then he's just, yeah. He's doing a good job of punishing Meeting's jabs. Meeting had an opening here, obviously. Right. He can't do that. He can grab him after the tilt. But he waits too long. And then he gets punished for trying to do something after. So, like, any window, it clo like, when it when it closes, it's, you know, it's closed. But you got to catch it. You got to, the openings are so tight. I mean, they're so small. So you got to get them right there. So if you miss it and try to do it late, then it's not good anymore. He did this the last game. I think it was at 108 when he did it, though. Or he put him to one. Yeah, I think he was at 108 when he tried to do the shine thing last time. This time he's at 103, and he gets an up air. And Meech King doesn't DI it as well. Didn't kill, though. Oh, that sucks. Do you know what to do? Oh, let's see what's different about this time. So he there. Oh, he just jumped right into his there. Yeah. Yeah, so Mew King, I think, is adjusting to the fact that. Because, like, last time on your story, Mew King got gimped twice by down air on the ledge. So I think this time he's just opting to get off the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is all good. I think Mew King, Mango talked about this. Yeah, he should have. I think Mango's talking about how. I think Mango broke his match down. He's talking about how. He should have teched away here. And he's right. He should have teched away there. And then he should have, he, then he missed a tech there. Yeah, that was all bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
yeah, good, good. You like you really can't crouch pretty much. I'll you can crouch so much of chic shit till from sixty to eighty. Um, so ultimate shield pressure. He's a down smash. Mhm. Mm I thought he was gonna take behind. Oh, there's no reason to jab. That's never really. Oh, that's free. Yeah, I don't know. I think he just needed. He just jumps up and hits him. Yeah, I gave him one. Mm, oh. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a disadvantage of this low percent. There's just so many, like, so little moves that you can actually hit someone with a zero. So he comes down with a movement and he trains it for a shine. Good DI on the shine, though. And then... Yeah, again, same thing, though. And what was better about... Remember the fair that we talked about earlier? This one's worse because he's going into PP. Oh, then he jabs him, though. Actually, the fair spacing was actually pretty good. I'm going to take that back. The fair spacing was actually pretty good. I wonder if he, if he just jabs him for it. Interesting. He pops him up. Nice DI behind him. Look how good the DI on the jab was, though. That was really good. Fan fair. Jabs him. Up throw. Back air. I don't know about that down there. He should be dead. No, Mies King DI. Mies King has such good survival DI. Oh. Yeah. You gotta watch your invincibility, son. Watch your invincibility. Does the tournament winner. And that'll probably do it right there. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do. Do you do sub analysis as well? I do. Okay, I haven't done it in a while though. I still owe a couple people some of that sub analysis. Um, if you have a match, you can definitely send it to me. Sorry, not ratcheting. Just reading the chat. <laughs> Down tilt would have been better than the shine, but he expected him to be closer. Crash counter shine is kind of bad in my opinion. So often misses that taco at least. Yes, taco's hitbox is smaller. Thanks, what's up, Kitsune? Thanks for the auto host. You're you're the man, dude. Should have could have shine drift right up air instead of room shine. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think so. Probably. I think that B was pretty good. He's looking this. I got no. I got no beef with the up B. Just you just gotta land shit. Just gotta land it, bro. Just gotta land it. Axe the Found of Dreams. He took away FD from him, dude. Took away FD, dude. He can't he took he can't even have FD anymore, dude. He took his house. He has moved into his house. He took everything from Heath King. He can't even play FD anymore because he doesn't want to deal with Marth. That's how bad it is, dude. That's how bad it is. Later. Heath King just sitting there doing nothing, waiting. He tries to get a grab. Mm, nice shine grab. Oh, get all of that. Oh, I love it too. I love this. This is so good. Let's just talk about this. Let's talk about this. So he's really just he, he's getting me off the ledge. Then he walks away. And then he just catches me to coming forward. Beautiful. Now for Sheik, he probably could have. For Sheik, he could have like so if me with Sheik, that would have been a, like a nair out of shield. And Marthus doesn't have good options. Um. Out of shield, and especially when his back is facing, um, he doesn't really have any options right here. Like he doesn't have any like really strong like a lot of Mars. You'll see wave dash, ba wave dash out, like force smash or like roll. Um, but since he's pinned right here, um, I think maybe the best option is just a light shield. I think he should light shield. Is he light shielding already? Then if he's already light shielding, I have nothing to say because he probably just wants to get pushed off. Yeah, he probably should just let himself get pushed off. Doesn't get the tech either. So some then some bad. Yeah. I wonder if he had teched away here. Again, I was thinking about what Mango's talking about on Yoshi's story. I wonder if he had teched away here if he would have been fine. But he he misses the tech altogether. And then he misses the fourth match. Yeah. So pretty much just like a bad spot and then not very good defensive options to follow it. Um so he nice he kind of just responds to this visual cue. A lot of players bite on this. So pretty much, PB puts the back here on the shield right there. Beast King immediately responds with the grab. That's just like his visual cue. Mm, forward throw. He tries to hit him with the kin. Mm -hmm. Let's see. A. 
And I feel like his rhythm's off now, because he's been getting fucked. And a lot of it, it's hard to get into your offensive flow when you're getting fucked. Up till, yeah. He's missing a lot of techs, too. A lot of techs on the initial part of the platform, he's missing, right? So he's missing that first tech, which just makes it easier for PP to get started. Because he's getting, like, a free down air. Nice DI on that fourth throw. So good DI here, but now he's off the stage. Let's see how he, yeah. Ooh, he just fucking misses. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shine. Yep, this is good. Forward air, up tilt. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is all good. Very good flow. Like, PP's just following him really well here. Falls underneath. Gra laser grab. He just fucking. I think he should have grabbed the ledge. Honestly, there's no reason not to. For Yeah. He's just in Meeting's head, dude. It's, it's, it's looking real quiet for you, man. He's like just doing. He's he, he's kind of just doing basic shit now. Look at like force smash, two back to back force smashes. They weren't even that great, but when you get flowing, everything works. And uh, he's fucking he's fucking your man's up, dude. If you're a Michigan fan, it's probably some of the time to be watching. The laser craft for top platform. Yeah, I know that was good. That was very good. All right, so they go back to Fountain. He goes back to Sheik. He did. They had. They, that makes sense. They had some pretty good games. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Let's see. Let's see. Shine down. Oh, back here. I like the back here. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if that would, that looked like it would have hit. Interesting. Went back just a little too far. It's a pretty. It takes a long time to start up, so it probably just took too long. I like the concept though. Concept points. I like the up tilt pressure here. He's pretty far, and it makes it so easy he can't just come forward. And he's kind of pinned by the lower part of the platform. Like he's like, well, not pinned, but I just like the positioning he had there. Laser, laser, laser. Yep. Mm hmm. Nice grab on that. He thought me too. Oh shit. Today is. Pirate, what's up, Pirate? Four months, baby. Let's go. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> no DI four times into taking place in the area from the ledge. Thanks, man. Appreciate this ongoing support, dude. Fucking homie. All right, so grab the ledge. Ooh, he's, he's like, no, don't grab the ledge because I'm already there. Ooh, I like this little. Did he? Oh shit, back to back. What's up? Is oh damn, three months, baby. You got your new badge. Let's fucking go, baby. Propkins. Prop Propkins. Let's fucking go, dude. Thank you, guys, man. Three and four months, man. We're getting pretty serious, dude. I like the fade back on that laser there. You don't see this uh, that that much. I like it. It seems small. It's small, but look at it. It's like most people just laser in place, but he does a little fade back. A little, little just baby fade back. A little, like, yo, what's up? Little hit him with the little J. Little fade away J. Oh, catch him, catches him. Almost gets a dash back in there. Gets a grab. How's he gonna come down? Mm -hmm. Up air that kill. Yeah. PB and D playing pretty solidly, dude. Shine. Oh, PPOD can't shine a shield? What is that? Taco's been able to shine a shield. There's no reason for him not to be able to do that. Fox has just learned how to shine a shield. But, like, effectively. Always dead. Doesn't matter how good you get a Falco, you'll always be dead in this situation. Once you are here as Falco, once you are below the ledge to the point where you can't forward B, you're a dead. Once you're not even with the ledge or above it, you're immediately dead as Falco. It's over. You've got nothing left to offer the world. You only have one option, and it's not very good. You can't mix up that many angles with it. 15%. You love this 18% of Sheik. Look how much damage you got. 40%, right? So the, that, that first 18 opens, like, starts to open the doors for you when you can dash, stack, and tilt. 
Um, now you only need a couple more hits so you can start getting knockdowns. So this is really good percent. He's really like super non-committal, eighteen percent, like a twenty-eight, and now he can hit him with so much shit. He's, uh, yeah, he gets one shine in there, but the damage has been done. He's got a lot of good work in there. So that was really good from this game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fourth row. Oh, I like him. Down air. Up row. Interesting. I wonder why he doesn't... I wonder why... Well... He's trying to mix in JC guys, but I wonder why he didn't just. Ooh, was that a good down? Was that a good nair? Just trying to think why he didn't just stay in his shield. Uh, actually, this might have been one of the better. No, no, this nair is still really high. I wonder why he didn't nair out. I wonder if he felt like it was better than usual. Just because PP's usually just nair shining, so I feel like he can get air. He can just fucking keep. Um, he can just keep hitting with nair out of shield because he hasn't really switched up that much. Ooh. Gets Mizuki to stay. Mizuki to stays in his shield too long, so he needed to punish right here. He doesn't get to punish, and then he just stays too long. So PP gets to do an unsafe move on shield, and then run away, and then come back and get a grab. So I mean, like, kind of just asking for it. Ooh, just roll up, roll up, roll up. Yeah, see, there's no reason not to. And even at zero, it's safe. I didn't know if it was safe at zero, but it's safe as long as you fade back. Maybe at least against Falco. Maybe not against Fox. Against Falco will do. So there's no reason for me to not be doing this every time. The only advantage is that PP got to kind of push him to the corner. Yeah. Tries to crouch cancel, but he's just too far. Like he's trying to crouch cancel uh, Meat King's shit, but he's too far away. Yeah, he's super dead here. And now Meat King's got a knife. I feel like Meat King's like first lead. One of his fir first leads, like decent leads, like stock up leads. And I like an Eatkins use just using his shield more, because PP's shield pressure isn't been super, super safe um, by any means, so I like the way he's using his shield right now. Yeah, he's starting to get some control. Yep. Mm -hmm. So PP again, trying to use his crouch, but Eatkins kind of like, he sees it. Acknowledges it. Ooh. Charge us smash. Had a fox moment. Uh. Ooh. That wasn't good. I think Mitsuki got started to get a little lazy at the end here. I didn't really see this setup before. He just started back air. Yeah. Nice down smash. I'm a motherfucking star boy. Thanks for the follow. Alright, so here we go. Got PP in his shield. Uh, interesting. Okay, so here, let's see what happened here. Is this Nair better than the other Nair? He just faded back on it. I'm not sure if Meeting's timing was better or anything. Oh. Oh, oh not. Did he just ledge cancel his B? Ledge cancel his B? Yeah, he did. Ledge cancel. I don't think I see Sheik's really do that. Oh. Meeting gets a game. Gets a game, baby. Gets a game. Gets a game. Gotta get a game, man. You can't let him stun on you like that. Gotta take a game. I gotta have my pops. Oh, man. If they go back to FD. Alright, I mean, excuse me, they go to stadium. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. You could probably say Sheik. Ooh, the worst DI. Worst. Worst. Four smash. Okay, so this saves his life. Literally, the shortened saves his life. If he had done a regular 4B, he would have been dead. So, clutch shortened. The clutches are shortened, honestly. Ooh. And this is such a tight window. Because if he had got his shot, his his laser right there. I don't think he. I don't think a laser actually came out. So if he had got that laser right there, he would have beat Mizuki to this spot, and then he could have started a combo. 
But because he doesn't, it means he gets to start his. So there's just so many tight windows. Um, it's just it's pretty dope. Nice tech away. Good the on the force smash. Oh, and this time he gets into the spot. All oh, the reverse. It's super hit off by that nair. Oh. I feel like Mango and Mean King would let each other on there. The PP and Mean King aren't friends like that. <laughs> They're not homie like that. Time him out, Mean King. Time him out, Mean King. Time him out. There's nothing really to say when they're just sitting there lasering. I have, I have no comment. And one's camping, one's camping the platform, one's camping the ledge, and one other one's just sitting there. There's nothing to really say. Nothing to really say, honestly. I actually kind of want to watch Mango Meat King after this. Um, just to kind of look at the different Falcos. I kind of want to see, like, back-to-back -back how they play differently. Though I know Mango's not, Apex's tournament is not Mango's tournament. But he's still in top three, so playing at least mediocre enough to get third. Oh, 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 oh. tries to snap. Oh, ah, okay. I don't think you know this ledge. Actually, this little ledge makes it harder for me to get over there too. Though the if he, he could have teched it, so that was kind of a tough. That was kind of a weird spot. Definitely a weird spot for me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Down air like it. Ooh, caught him. And that was like the same laser. Like actually no, it was late earlier percent. But this time he gets that laser. And he gets into a force match. So remember earlier? Though it looked like the laser came out pretty low. So maybe that's that's probably why I got interrupted by the forward air. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it. Back air, back air, back air. Catches them coming in. Yeah, PP does not care when Mitsuki camps the ledge. I feel like it has no emotional reaction for him. I feel like when he can't, when someone camps the ledge against PP, he just steals nothing. Mm hmm. Oh, grab. Oh, this is all good work. This is all like really good work. Nice. Got him. Beautiful. Yeah. His forward throw. Tries to come down with an aerial. PP plays. Look at PP's controller so high up. Mm, I think it's over. You know why I think it's over? Look, it's over, dude. You know what? Look at look at me. He just did. Grab, grab. He's over. He's done, dude. He's countering in the middle of the stage. Oh, all fits the floor there. Uh, don't think he could have. Think he could have grabbed that one for sure. Um, but he lets him get away with one. He waited too long. And that seems to be happening a lot with Meets King, honestly. He's just waiting a little too long on some of these punishes on PP. Like when he gives him openings in neutral, especially around on his shield. PP pop Meets King pops off. Do you see this? Yes! That's it. Oh, that rhymes. Oh, I was about to say, that's it right there. Shit, they're into it. Down air, down air. The PP pee -pee train! The PP pee -pee train! I feel like PP pee -pee feels nothing when this is happening. I would be annoyed as fuck. I would be super annoyed, dude. I'd be so annoyed right now, but I feel like PP pee -pee feels nothing. He's just like, cool, you can do that. He just lets him camp it out, dude. Gives him the space. Five fucks up a laser, but it doesn't matter because he's literally. Oh, that was bad. Don't do this. So don't do what PP just did. Don't do this. Because you can totally get grabbed over that. So don't do that jab against Marth. I wouldn't suggest it, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Ooh, I don't know. This is tight. Oh, this run! <laughs> oh! 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 I can't believe he did that. That was so dangerous. PB's in the danger zone. PB's in the danger zone. <laughs> the respectful pop off. This is the respectful pop off. When you shake the hand, and then oh yeah, I did it, Bob. I 
did it! I did it! I'm back in there. Alright. Yeah, let's watch let's watch Mango. Let's watch it. Just for just cause I, I wanna see Mango Falco. It's okay if you're hitting the mark in the air at that percent. I think the jab The jab I, I I don't know if you're talking about the jab or not. It's 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 like the jab's cool. I just I'm very cautious about doing jabs against Mark. You definitely get grabbed. So it's risky. It's definitely risky as fuck. So let's get grabbed over it. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, let's look at it. Uh Okay. So let's do it. Mango, so already different. They strike to Dreamland, because Mango likes Dreamland, even though he's more of an in-close player. But he likes Dreamland, too. I've always found that interesting there. Oh, Mango, you're so good. Oh, Mango. Oh, Mango. You, Mango immediately. So Mango, you can already feel Mango. So he gets hit in the face, immediately tries to run right at him. Gets hit with the jab. Though PP did the same thing. They tried to press here and down air. So, nice, beautiful down air DI. Mango didn't need to do this for it, this down smash. You gotta know. This, this is bad visual recognition. He's way off. Oh. Mm-hmm. Shine. Tries to catch me. Can come. I think he tries. Oh, nice tech, but he still gets hit, clipped. Does bad recovery. Mango's recovery hasn't any better. Any off, off his ledge options are still the same. So at least that will be accurate. He's dead. Yeah. Bam. Oh, I see that down tilt? Oh, he did the roll off instead of just a roll up. So Mango can double shine. So already a difference there in the shield pressure. Mango can double shine. Switch, so the roll for Meat King makes sense. And Moonwalk. So two differences so far. Two major differences between them so far. So Mango kind of keeping it simple here. I like the positioning. So he just like going to a platform. So as PP, I think we saw more lasering and facing forward. And I think that's something you'll see with PP's Falco more often, is that he's usually not ha he doesn't play with his back turn very often. So we didn't see this positioning very often. I think he just kind of let Meat King, and he would just go to the ledge. So in this situation, is what you do here. If you think they're going to roll, if you think they're going to go high, then you just do a normal get up, and then you re-grab the ledge when they're in the air. If you think they're going to go to the ledge, then you roll up. But that's the mix-up. So if, if he knows he's gonna do that, he just has to do a regular ledge get up. He'll get up right here, and then he'll just, he can just lay dash like on really quick. But it's a mix up, so that's a good that's a good job by Meat King. But again, we didn't really see this positioning with PP. I think Mango just taking the platform. He's just putting the back airs out there. Shine grab. Yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, me, damn Meat King, good ass guy. Yeah. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. Back throws. Yeah, already. And that's what I was talking about. So now already we're seeing the diff like so shield pressure wise so like right here, PP was just doing another aerial. And Mango puts a double shine there. So he's gonna beat that man out. So that was the thing I was talking about. Is if PP Posh should have started doing more aerials and shields, I think he would have got to see if Meat King was just waiting for the shine or if he was automatically gonna do the nair, or he needed a double shine. Um, because Beach King got a lot of mileage off of, um, off of, uh, aerials and shields. Than, more than he should have. Yeah. Oh. Mango comes straight up with a down air. A little too slow to react here. Just didn't react fast enough. I think PP did a, a good job here in situations like this. Of, like, if, even if he was slow getting a tech chase, he would move and then be able to cover. He would have been able to cover something like a roll a little easier. Mango just reacts slowly there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful tech by Meat King. Beautiful, beautiful tech. 
Not very good DI on the dash deck, though. He DIs in, so then he gets mixed up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, do 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 do. Shine, yeah. So you already see the. I think the double shine actually is really like very already one of the bigger differences between them. It totally changes the dynamic and the shield pressure. Mm -hmm. Maybe a laser. Straight in. Da -da -da. Yeah, better, way better at, at dealing with King Shield. Okay, so we saw a shine grab, we saw a double shine. So he's making he's way, uh, doing a much better job on the shield so far. And then that was an awful DI. Easy to say though. So he just expecting. So this is just a mix up. It's not that it's the it's not. I shouldn't say awful DI. It's not. He obviously it's a mix up, right? He's expecting another aerial, and then Mango mixes in a forward smash because he's straight combo DI. He's expecting another down air or a shine. So meeting that's just actually I should give more credit to Mango there. So like so he's just trying to kind of force his way in. So he's catching a lot of damage. It's like and already forty damage so quick. That's like beautiful work for me. Excuse me. He gets put on like thirty. He just put on good damage. And then he gets it into a grab. Yeah. So he's just kind of walking forward and he's kind of fucking himself up. He's just walking trying to walk through it. Yeah, Shine of Shield. See, yeah, Shine of Shield was definitely out. Falcon's been shining out of Shield since like 2007, honestly. I don't, it's, for some reason, Foxes took forever to be used effectively. Oh, nice up here by Mew's King. Oh, yeah, nice grab. Run up Shield. That's definitely Mango learned run up Shield from playing Hugo too, <laughs> Hugo too much. <laughs> he tries to get a grab from it. Mm -hmm. Good DI on that dash attack, though. Very good, yeah. That dash, that though, bam, yeah, that was beautiful. I forgot melee and Omni's sponsor is Mango. Good, good. Uh, okay, again, run up shield again though. So we already see that's something. Mango always run up like is definitely an uh, offense. He definitely uses that defensive option offensively. Um, and then he's gonna get a hit off it. Tries to get a down air in there. Mm-hmm. Eighteen percent. You love that if you're a chic. So Mangos is backing off now. Before we kind of saw, yeah. So he looks like he's trying to use the platforms more in that area where Mitsuki is staying in the corner. Uh, tries to get a forest smash in there. It's, oh, good, good tech chase coverage by Mitsuki. Oh, oh, I don't think Mitsuki needed to sell out there. It's weird about Mitsuki's tech chasing is it always feels kind of like. He cuts it at weird points. Like, he can just kind of, like, reactive tech chase, but he'll always just cut it at weird spots and go for something different. Mm. Yeah. So that, I think that was an example there. Is it, like, me, Mango did, like, a Nair, and then he shielded, right? And he almost, uh, I think he's dead. So he almost, like, um... Almost got, almost did it. But I like that. I like that he shielded. He just did it. He let it up a little too early. Phil, why weren't you following your own advice against Sam last night? Um, did I? I probably did let him back to the ledge a lot. I probably just was missing. Uh, there was a lot of times where I mixed, like, so I would roll up. Too early. Um, like I would like let I would do like sometimes I would just miss the wave dash to re grab the ledge or I would roll up too early. I mean like it's still a mix up. Oh the melee on me mango. Oh I didn't know I forgot about that. So then they go to Yoshi's. So I think what really hurt Mango this game was that um, 
What really hurt him was that he let uh he couldn't wrap his kills up. See again, the double shine is good there though, especially if people are reacting after like after your shine. So there's no reason for Mead's King to be trying to do aerials, um, to be trying to do aerials after uh, after the shine because he knows Mango can do like can multi shine. So there's no reason he should probably just roll honestly. Um, there's no real reason to go for it. Shine, yep. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, ooh. So that was a big mistech for opportunity for. I think it was Mango's talking about the same thing he's talking about with PP. So if he techs away there, no, nah, he might have still got fair. I wonder if he got fair if he had teched away. But missing the tech made it super easy. Mm. So Matt, PP did a good job here of um. He would he would grab the jabs a lot really quickly. It's oh, a BP, meeting definitely flips up here. Like right here, that was like a free dash tag. He's too slow though. Mango's been doing that a lot. It's coming straight back up or down here. Mm, is he dead? Ooh, yep. Laser, laser, laser. I wonder if he thought he could re grab the ledge there. Like with, what? oh, that's not safe. It's never been safe. Well, actually, it, it used to be safe. It used to be kind of safe. It actually, like, you got punished for it, but not not enough to dissuade you. But the, ooh. I don't know about that 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 nair. That nair was really far away, and just ever just lasering. Oh, okay, sorry, he didn't even laser. He just came straight down. Mm. So we just go straight into meeting his arm. Snack ledge cancel. Mm. Yeah. yeah, beautiful by meeting. This is really good by meeting right here. So like a lot of people will just grab, but this time he gets a fair. This is beautiful by meeting, especially for meeting because meeting a lot of times will do that fair. Now this is good, but it's bad in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's no reason for Mew Ting to think that he'll fucking do another aerial. Because, like, the last six times Mango's double shine. So this is just, like, purely muscle memory. And it's why he's been hit with so many double shines. Because if Mango double shines again, Mew Ting would have got hit. So there was actually no reason for him to, like, he's just doing the same defensive option over and over again. And kind of hoping, like, this is actually really bad in my opinion. Because, like, it, I feel like Mango went, like, a level deeper. And Meat King just wasn't there because he's still doing the same shit even though it's not working. So that that annoys me a little bit. I'm annoyed. I'm triggered by that. I'm triggered by him choosing that defensive option again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what did Mango do? Yeah. See that was that makes that was really good. That was, see that was good. He just like he shines him. But that was off his shine, so that made that way dash back made a lot of sense. That was really good. Run up shield. I'm actually not a big fan of run up shield against Falco. Though I do do it sometimes. So I can't knock it. Yeah. Try to give him like the sweetest angle all the time. But it's hard. It's hard. Oh. I think that I like this one. I like this one because he's crossing in front. I think and he gets there. Oh, yeah. Drive through. Um, Mango tries to do something that's just not there. Ooh, nice read by Meat King. He gets a hit. It looks like Meat uh, Mango's having a lot of trouble in this, this zone where Meat King's jumping. He almost gets a shine there, it looks like. Meat King goes through some crazy shit. Gets confused. Sucks up his dash. Shine. Shine a shield. I like sweep the leg. That's the sweep the leg kick. Ooh, nice. So good stuff by Mango. Shine. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. That's not safe.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no reason for me seeing it. He should just be rolling or doing something here. He just tries to do something. There's no reason to do something like that. If I just pulled the trigger a little too early here. Easy, easy to say that when you miss, though. Grab. Nice DI by Mewt King. And yeah, and kind of just pulled the trigger too early up there. Ooh. Oh, again. Unfortunately, if he had gone to the ledge, the roll up's really good, but if you don't go to the ledge. Yeah, really good spot by Mewt King. That was a good spot. So I think the difference here is this, this doesn't, like, I feel like Mango's, anno oh, Mango's, like, annoyed when shit like that happens, whereas PP doesn't seem to give a fuck. Again, though, like, the third time, PP Mango's has been pulling the back air trigger a little too early. I think he should jump and re-grab the ledge maybe once. But a lot of times he's back airing too early and it's giving Meatsking free access to the ledge. That should do it, though. Oh, my God, Meatsking has amazing DI. That was fucking amazing. Yeah, finally. Having more trouble, having a lot of trouble wrapping up his kills. Mango got that from playing Samus, though. Because when you run up shield against Samus, it's like, god -like. Apex Mango. Apex Mango? Apex Mango? I should probably change the title. Uh... Okay, cool. So we go to FD. I think this is when you hit him with that smooth puff move, right? Go puff, Mango. Go, Mango, go puff. Oh, wait. Wait, is this, was I on the wrong one? Did I go back? What the fuck did I go back for? Uh, where is it? <laughs> is that blur? Is that blur? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What year is this? Twenty one one losers finals. Uh, <laughs> Rob, uh, Rob, Ed. <laughs> uh, what year is this? Twenty fourteen. It's looking like two thousand seven. Mango is serious right now. The clown is back. <laughs> DBR is the king. One of those. <laughs> Only Mango's puff will get the people excited, dude. Only Mango has that effect. <laughs> Everyone puff. Oh! Get a Mango! He's king of the lame-ass fox. <laughs> Me and this fox is literally one of the lamest characters in Melee. That's it. Oh, never mind. He's gonna get fucked up, too. He's gonna just cap it. Good DI. Me king has great DI on up throws, though. I think he does such a good job of knowing when he's going to grab. Honestly, at this point, oh. Oh! 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 God damn it. God damn it, Mango! God damn it! He should have pulled back a little earlier. He tried to go right there, and he probably should have just pulled back, and he would have caught that. Probably. Nah, maybe not. And then he does something unsafe after. Oh, Mango's just missing all of edge guards. That's what happens when you don't play a character, dude. The edge guards. Everything kind of looks the same, but it's just a little off. Actually, I just want to watch this commentary. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. Let's go, Mango. Oh, I feel like Nijing has gotten every fucking DI. Oh, nice match, yeah, Mango. Oh, <laughs> literally, Nijing's DI has been so good. Oh, wow. he's like almost great still. His puff is like almost great. It's like, it's right there. Roll, hit him with the, the, the rolls. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Kill yourself, Beach King. Oh. It has to be. He just did a jab and full jump instead of up smashing. Probably was just another laser, but... Oh. That was a badass back air. He got, he got a smash that for sure. 
Honestly, when you're at this percent, it doesn't even matter. You're not going to get up throws. Whoa! So you don't have to worry about aerials. Turn around, back air, freeze frame. Brand new game. This box oh, yeah. There, that, that was block. nice. All right, cool. And good good stuff. And Me and D1 down. in agreement. Me and D1 have never done a block together, I don't think. Hey, this is not a Meet King chant. This would never happen if I was there. This would never... This would never happen if I was there. I would 100% not allow a uh, uh, Meet King chant. So, um, Meet King's doing a good job. And this look how slow Puff is. So, so like... Sorry, I can't actually talk about this. Come here. So, um... Ming Ting's doing a good job of like making Mango come full stage and using lasers. Um, he's doing a really good job of that. He's like forcing Mango to come forward. It's a shit ton of laser damage, so it's it's really good work. Mhm. Mm oh oh, ding! He still got it, dude. His puff still got it. Up to oh, that may be wrong. Oh, reacting too slow. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get a mango. Get a mango. He's gonna get grabbed and die. If he gets grabbed, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. It was worth a shot. I feel like it's worth a shot, honestly. Watching Mango's puff reminds me how bad puff is. How could you. Matt, Matt, that's, that's, that's one of the best puffs of all time! When you lose your. Oh, I'm the king. Nerf Red Blaster? Interesting. What's up, John? How you doing, man? His Puff still got it three years ago. He still got it, dude. His Puff can still do it if he wanted to. I think it might be good. I think it might be good. Um, I think it might be good if he... If he... Um, if he... Uh, Oh me uh Alright, so one and two. Ah uh, yeah, up throw. A little off on that up tilt there. Yeah. It's all good stuff. Back air. Mm -hmm. Shine, yeah, this is good stuff. Up tilt. Down air. Nice, nice. Like I like this by meeting. This like keeps this combo from going. His DI is off. That was a nice slide off, and he almost tried to get a grab off it. So that would have been really good. Reversals are so big in melee. Like just knowing when your combo's over is probably like one of the biggest things in the game, or knowing when you can extend it when you can't. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Ah, that's 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 unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Not beautiful di. Again, do let PP and Mango both doing a really good job of di. Oh uh, yeah. This is all good stuff. Oh, he's like really. You know, Mango was playing better than I expected. I honestly thought he played bad. I, I thought like he played worse at this tournament for some reason. In my mind, he got fucked. I think I just remember people. Enough people have said to me that Mango plays bad at Apex, so I just remember him being bad here. But I mean, he's playing solid. Um, he's making mistakes, obviously, but that's every tournament. Oh uh, yeah, nice rollout by Meat King. I feel like there's no, especially if it's Marth. There's no reason. There's nothing he could do, so that probably makes more sense. Ooh. Yeah, nice, beautiful. I love this grab. I really like it a lot. Down air, gets a nice grab in there. Meets King shields. Nice. Oh, this is a good shield, too. It's so important. So, bam, shield. Nice shield. Back up. Laser. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, so this is where a lot of... Like, again, so this is where Space Animals just covering distance from... Going a little too far out. Luckily, he just barely clips him. But this is where most space animals get their, their, their most floaties get their mileage on space animals. Is that you just aerial from a little too, so right there, beautiful dash dance. And then he just comes from a little too far out. And he barely, I mean, like, he barely clips this. 
He's so close to getting just grabbed and back thrown. So, and then a beautiful roll, though. But, yeah. That's what gets most fa like Ooh, yeah. Too far there. Mm, don't know about that. Oh, he should be dead. Yep, yep, yep. New to kid. New to kid. Yeah, it's really interesting looking at PP and Mangos Falco. Um, it's just PP is so much more laser based. His movement's so much more about. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, it's literally Mango did all the, all the best things he could do to try to recover. He went up, tried to forward B. All right, excuse me, where is it? Now that this one. He went up, tried to forward B. Um, that for. Oh, if he had. I wonder if he had. Nah, he was dead anyway. Never mind. I take it back. I was thinking if he had shortened here, but. I think he was dead anyway. It was over. So good stuff by me team. Very clean. Mm, that was really bad DI. But again, it's a mix of mix up. It's a mix up DI. It's just really bad. Like it just means that you completely because a lot of DI is just a read, right? And you're just and maybe he tried to tech down. So either he tried to tech down, which he does something like that he would do now, or he just completely read it wrong. And both of those are possible. But he was really wrong. Um, but if Mango had done like a shine, then he would have got comboed. So, or he had done like a, a down air, he would have got like a free back air off it. Oh, again though, again, again. So Mango's having more of this. I think you're seeing this more with Mango too. It's because PP wouldn't just come in with an air. Like Mango's trying to cover, having trouble covering this distance. The, the distance in those space animals have trouble covering. It's just getting close. Ooh, that was nice. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, that's it. That's it. 